Hey everybody, so does your job entail the frenziness of the stock market? Are you constantly having to look at the price now? What did it close at yesterday? What were last week's highs and lows, percentage of change, and all the other analytics that go with watching the stock market? Or do you own stock and you're just curious about where they are? Or maybe you're just curious about the stock market in general. Well, whatever the reason, your stock market analytics game is getting ready to change. So what we have built in to Microsoft Excel is the ability to watch stocks and pull current information from either the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange. And with that, let's see what Microsoft's done for us. So here we have some information about stocks that we watch or we work with. Now I have both the company and the ticker symbol, and it doesn't matter which one you use. If you don't have the ticker symbol, it's going to find it for you. But since I have them, I'm going to go ahead and use it. So what we're going to do with one of our ticker symbols selected is we're going to go up to data and stocks and we're going to click it. Now, if you look, it pulls down AMC Entertainment Holdings. It's on the New York Stock Exchange and it's ticker symbol. Let's go ahead and double click like we normally can and see what happens. It fills all of them with the same information and that's not what we want. So let's go ahead and back it out and let's select everything and then let's hit our stock. And now it's brought everything in. XNYS is the New York Stock Exchange. XNAS is the NASDAQ. So the information that we're trying to pull for all of these stocks is the price, previous close, high, change percent, 52-week high, and 52-week low. Now what's neat about this is normally to pull this information, we would have to come into each cell and do a function or formula, but that's not how this works, and this is really neat. Let's go ahead and select AMC. And we'll see this pop up here that says insert data. Now we're going to tell it price. Let's find price, select it, and it puts in the price. Now watch this. If we go back and we tell it previous close, it puts that next. We're going to find our high, our change percent, and our 52-week high and 52-week low. So it knows the order we're putting it in is the order that it needs to put it into the cells. So now in this case, we can select everything and double click, and it's gonna carry all that data down like we're used to. So now let's say we just wanna refresh it. Now, if you notice up here, this says financial market information is provided as is. And the reason this disclaimer's here is everybody knows that the stock exchanges change at the drop of a hat literally every second. So the refresh button is going to be your best friend. But also keep in mind, keep an eye on the actual numbers just to make sure something doesn't break and you have the most accurate information possible. So let's go ahead and refresh and let's keep an eye on some of these and see if they change. My, uh, Apple changed just a few cents. I think it went actually down, but let's refresh again. Oh, and there we have it. AMC went up a penny. So now you can see that you can refresh your data. So now let's just say that you need this information and you're presenting it to your management team and you need it in a chart. Well, normally I would let all of this go into a chart, but these two columns are going to be kind of confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select from ticker symbol over and insert it into my chart. So insert, and I'm just going to do a 2D chart. I just need something simple. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And as you can see, it's still kind of a mess because it has all of these. Well, I just want to show the current price. So I'm just going to go here, select all, and I'm going to tell it the price. And as you can see, it just pulled that data. I'm going to double click here and I'm going to rename this to just like stock market information. And then I'm going to X out of here. Now, if you notice on our vertical axis, we have zero. Now, how you do this is completely up to you, but I always let it start at zero because what if we have a stock 
that is brand new and it doesn't have any information yet because it, it's just started trading, but you also need to reflect that it's there. So again, do your charts how you want, but I recommend they all start with zero. And as you can see, AMC is our smallest one. And then we have Apple and it reflects what's in our chart here. Now, just like any other chart, you can change this data. You can change, you know, your majors and minors. But for this, I'm going to leave it the way it is. Now let's go up back to our data and let's refresh all and see what happens. So let's keep an eye on some of our stocks. And let's just double check. Apple right now, if you hover, says 221.15. And then Boeing says 180.97. So they're matching. Let's refresh all. Everything changed just a little bit. Now Apple says 221.10 and Boeing says 180.82. And now you have the ability and you know how to in Excel to keep a very close eye on your stock market numbers. Just keep in mind, Refresh All is going to be your best friend. And just keep an eye on the stock market as well to make sure something hasn't broken. And that's it for today. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share, get notified, comment, all of that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.